Hey, good evening, guys, gals. So, today's video is going to be on how to set the Nordic Track X22i or 32i or even the 11i or whichever one you have that has a console. How to set it so that you can access privileged mode, which will give you access to a desktop. All right. So, if you're here, that means you've just powered it up and you're logged on and as you can see you've got all your your different iFit trainer videos that you can pick now normally if you have access to privileged mode you can swipe up like this from the black or swipe down from the black and you'll get three shapes right here you'll get I believe a triangle a circle and a square but as you can see nothing's happening so in the past, I've had you go into your menu, I've had you go into settings, I've had you go into maintenance, and then from here I had you do certain things, which it's not necessary. You could do it from here, but it's not really necessary, because the reason in the past I've had you do it from here is because there's a lot of blank space there, but you don't have to do that. So I'm going to show you how to do it right from the home menu. From the home menu, all you have to do is pick a spot where if you click on something, it won't activate anything. So you could do it up here, you could do it there, you could do it here, you could do it in that little space right there. But I'll tell you what, I'll just do it right here. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll do it right here, okay? We'll do it right here because then you'll be able to see what happens. So I'm gonna, the way to activate privileged mode basically hacking your machine, but it's not hacking because sometimes if you speak with a Nordic Track rep, they'll say that, hey, you're hacking your machine, you're avoiding your warranty. In actuality, you're not hacking your machine. Privileged mode already exists. You're just accessing privileged mode, all right? So here we go. The way to do it is you tap on one specific spot 10 times, you wait seven seconds, and then you tap on it again 10 times, and then down here, it'll say something like privileged mode equals true. Let's give it a try. Ready? Ten times. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand, five, one thousand, six, one thousand, seven, one thousand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And privilege mode to true. All right. So now what happens with privilege mode true? I can swipe up. And there's my three shapes. The triangle, the circle, and the square. I can swipe down. And there's my three shapes. All right? So now that's how you get into privilege mode. If you swipe down, you'll also over here, you'll see, you'll get some extra stuff. And we can, I think I've spoken about it. It's just regular desktop stuff. But here's we go. So let's go ahead and now hit the circle. The circle gets you to your desktop. And I've already accessed this desktop. So in the past, you can go to wallpaper, you can change it. But I've already asked, access the desktop and I've put shortcuts on my desktop. <clears throat> if you didn't have shortcuts on your desktop, then you would hit this button here. And what that would do is get you to this <clears throat> menu where you would have a browser, you would have a camera. Believe it or not, there's a camera on here that takes pictures from that hole there. You'd have a clock, you'd have downloads, <clears throat> you'd have gallery, you'd have the iFit administrator iFit Cardio, which is the actual iFit software that runs this treadmill, and you'd have settings. I've clicked on that. If you click on that, that basically gets you back to here. Now, if you want to go back, swipe up and hit the back button, which is the triangle. All right. If you hit iFit Admin, I honestly don't know what iFit Admin does. It talks about recovering the brain board, which I'm not clicking. Clear update files. I'm not clicking that either. Clear cache and check for updates. So I've never used the iFit system admin. All right, again, iFit Cardio just gets you back here. Remember this goes back, this gets you back to your desktop so that, and then you can just click on that to get to your desktop. And this square is, it shows you all the windows that are currently running. So let's go back to the desktop. And the goal of this video was to show you how to create a shortcut for YouTube. Actually, a lot of people have been asking me, how do I get a YouTube app? Similar, let's go here. 
similar to, for instance, I have a, uh, an app for ID Go. Uh, I have an app, app for Netflix. So if I click on Netflix, <clears throat> this is already configured. I should be able to get into Netflix and Netflix will show me. And I'm not going to click on any content because I don't want any copyright. Uh, how do you call it? I don't want any. Uh, I don't want YouTube coming by and telling me that I've, I've I've done some copyright infringement. But as you can see, there's a this is YouTube. I mean, this is Netflix. So again, scroll up like that and go back, or I can hit the circle. The circle gets me back to my my background. And on my on my background, I have I changed my wallpaper to a, a black hole, which is pretty cool. Let's come back here. All right, so how do you go about getting a app or something so that you can click on it and it goes straight to your YouTube? So the first thing you'll have to do is go to your web browser. And in your web browser, you'll actually have to go to YouTube. So I already had YouTube there, but let's go ahead and make believe we don't have YouTube. I have Google set up. So in here, you'll type YouTube. and then hit search. And there's YouTube, click on YouTube, and here's YouTube, all right? Now, my wife has already logged into YouTube, so I get all of her personalized content. So if you wanted to, for instance, get content that is uh, tied to your login, you would then, uh, I'm not sure how you'd do it, but you would maybe, let's see if you go back. It's been a while since I've done this. Nope, that's not it. Maybe here, click on those three things. Ah, there. So I'm, I'm thinking that's where, no, that's not it either. Actually, no, oh, here it is, the, the little circle, I believe. Yep, yeah, so this is what you do, you'd be there. So let's go back. So if you go into YouTube, I believe if you wanna log in, it would be somewhere over there. So let's go ahead and log my wife out. Or let's see, manage accounts. I don't wanna click on her account. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna pause and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is what you would normally get when you come up to YouTube. You'd have some recommended videos and then you'd have some other stuff about the COVID-19 obviously because of what's going on. But you would come up here and you would, if you can see, there's that little uh, icon that looks like a person. You'd click on that and then you would, actually, you know what? That says search YouTube. I'm going to have to pause again and try it again. Hold on. Okay, so I was just correct. What's happening is I'm trying to click the screen while I'm holding my camera or while I'm holding the phone. So let's come back here. You're coming right here and you're clicking on that little icon of a person. Let's try that again. There we go. And then you would just come in here and sign in. So again, this is not necessary, but if you have a Google or something that you normally sign into YouTube with, go ahead and let's do this. So I'll click on sign in. And I already have some accounts, so I'm moving it away so you don't see. And I'm clicking on my name and it's going to ask me for my password, so give me a second. All right, my apologies on that. Again, it's hard to click on something here and then hold the camera. So anyway, so I'm logged into YouTube with my account. So you didn't have to do that. You could have just had YouTube regular, but I prefer why not log in so I can see my content. So the next thing you're going to do is you're gonna create a bookmark. And how do you create a bookmark? You see that arrow right there? You click on the arrow. And it says, hey, bookmark this page. And then it says, add to bookmarks. See? YouTube bookmarks. All right. And I guess, is that all I do? How do, do I, is there, I don't see a, oh, so I'm going to, uh, I want to get rid of this thing. Oops. I don't want to, I want to just click in there. Once again, I'm not sure how to do this. Oh, I guess I just hit that. Let's hit that. Okay, there it is, it's in a check mark. All right, so I have a YouTube bookmark and I just hit okay. All right, so now this page is bookmarked. How can I tell? I can actually click on the bookmarks 
icon, which is the flag with the star. And there it is right there, a YouTube bookmark or a shortcut. All right. How do I get out of here? I don't know. I just hit that, I guess. If not, I can always swipe up. And remember, the triangle is back. So now I have a bookmark. So let's go ahead and get out of here. We can even get out of here. Hit the circle. Circle gets you back to the desktop. So how do I go about creating that bookmark now? Something that I know I can click on so that I'll have it, similar to the Netflix that I have up here. What you do is you hold this down. And when you do, you see what happens? Everything shrinks and you have an option for wallpaper, wallpapers and widgets. Can you see that that says widgets? I'm going to click on widgets. And you see, it gives me some, some crude widgets. Remember, this is an Android, at least with me, with my machine. My X22i comes with an Android 5, I believe 1.1 version. The newer X22i's and the X32i's probably come with a later version of Android, like Android 7. So you might get even something a little bit different than you get here. But the main thing I want to do is I want to click on that widget, which is bookmarks. All right. There's other things there. I can see a Netflix. That's all cool. But that's what I want right there. So I'm going to click on. Oh, I have to hold it. And when I hold it, I could bring it and drag it. To my desktop we'll just put it right there in the middle and let it go and then it's going to tell me choose a bookmark i've got a whole bunch of different things looks like watch movies and there's a whole bunch of things here yahoo but that's the one i want the youtube so i'm going to click that one and now i have a youtube shortcut we'll move it here to the oh look we'll hold it and then we can move it any way we want we'll put it right there actually you know what yeah we'll put it right there so let's click on it and see what happens and boom, there's your YouTube. Now, it would be great if I can get a YouTube app specifically that runs and it's optimized for YouTube. But unfortunately, I haven't been able to find anything like that here. So this is the next best thing. If I want to watch something, I can just click on it. I'm not going to click on it because uh, I don't want to. Hey, here we go. Here's a Rubik's Cube. Solves it in record time. And then you could see that if you want, but I'm not going to. So we're just going to go back and then again, swipe up. Come here, my desktop. Again, you're holding this down until you see widgets, and then you can add widgets. And there's some other widgets that you might be able to add, like, uh, oops, I didn't want that. Get that out of there. How did that happen? Nope, 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 cancel. I don't want that. Oh, I did it again. Touch and hold. So it says right there, touch and hold the widget to go. But you can do photo gallery settings. You can do anything you want. You can have the time. But I don't want any of that. I'm just going to swipe up and go back to my desktop. So you know what? It, maybe it would be nice to have time here. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and put another widget. I want another widget, and I want to put a clock. I'm going to hold it, and I'm going to put it. So you can even have a second one. I'm going to put it right here. Let's put it right on the bottoms for now. It says, after you create the widget, launcher can access all data. Always allow it. I just say create. I'm not going to be clicking. So now... That's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and move this up here to the top. Yep. And then I'm going to move this right there. My iFit, my iFit Cardi always stays there because that's, I know if I have to click that to get back to my, uh, like, again, click that. And that gets me back here. So swipe up and go back to my desktop. Uh, the YouTube, I put that there for my wife mainly. And the ID go, that's for my wife as well. That's a pretty cool. Maybe I can put the time up here. Is that better? No, you can't really see it. Let's put it right down there. I think that's cool, right? 10.55. And now, yeah, that's cool. It's touching the, the black hole. I can, I can deal with that. All right. So now you know how to get your YouTube app, for lack of a better word. Is it a YouTube app? No. It's just YouTube, and it's just a bookmark or a shortcut, and then you have access to all of YouTube. All right? So with that being said, you haven't seen me. This is back. This is the desktop, and this is Windows. It shows all the windows. I can just swipe and close them out. Right? I can even close them out this way if I want. So I have no windows, all right? If you don't have iFit Cardio there, just go to your desktop, and there's your iFit Cardio. Click on it. And you're back to iFit Cardio.
sometimes it there's some delay because I closed it out. It has to restart. All right, guys. I went a little bit over. I seem to do that all the time. But now you know how to set up a YouTube shortcut or a YouTube bookmark on your desktop. Another thing, let's say, for instance, and then I'll end my video here. Let's say you've got a repairman coming. You uh, definitely don't want uh, privilege mode on. So let's say you have repairman on. You just repeat the same steps. You go, see, because right here, you see his privilege mode is still on. So you just repeat the same steps and you go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000, 6, 1,000, 7, 1,000. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And it's set to false. So now there's no swiping or anything. Okay? There you go, guys. I hope this helped a little bit. Sorry it was a little bit winded. I keep trying to make these as short as possible. But YouTube recommends that you keep them around 10 minutes. So I went over. You all have a good one. Stay safe. If you like what you see, subscribe. And uh, hit, the, hit the like button or the thumbs up. And I'll continue making some content. All right, you guys take care.